We're back working on pink ink and accrual adjusting entries. We know that we have to provide the adjusting entry as well as the subsequent cash transaction and today is December 31st. We're going to record the adjusting entries annually which allows us to determine the amount and we're going to use the balance sheet method. I'm going to move the page down. Number three. Employees are paid salary of $21,000 every two weeks on Friday. The last payment was made on Friday, December 18th, which included pay up to and including December 18th. Employees work five days a week, Monday to Friday, and are paid for all statutory holidays. The next pay date is January 1st, 2021. Whenever we're working on any kind of salary question, we want to draw a calendar. This simply helps us to understand exactly what dates we have to pay attention to. So we know that the last time they were paid was the 18th, and the next time they're going to be paid is the 1st. We're standing in December 31st. We have to look over our shoulder and determine how many days have the employees worked for us? How many days have we consumed their services to help us generate revenue? Well, that would be on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and the 31st. We can't include the 1st of January because we're doing our adjusting entries at December 31st, so we're only going to include the days that we owe employees for in this current period. If we count it, this is nine days. Let's go back to the question. We've had the use of employee services for the last nine days, but we've paid them nothing. So we owe employees a portion of that $21,000, not the full $21,000 because they didn't work 10 days for us. They only worked nine. Let's calculate 21,000 divided by 10 days and multiplied times nine. On December 31st, we owe the employees $18,900 we have to record an adjusting entry at December 31st because right now this is unrecorded. What did we get? We got the use of the employee's services to help us generate revenue. Expense, $18,900. What did we give away? Well, we gave away an IOU to our employees, promising them that we will pay them in the future. Salaries payable, $18,900. This is the adjusting entry. Let's look at the statement of financial position in the income statement on December 31st. We'll have a current liability, salaries payable, $18,900. We also have on the income statement an operating expense, salaries expense, $18,900. All right, fast forward to January 1st. What are we going to pay them? Well, we're going to pay them for the whole 10 days because they worked for us for 10 days. That means we're going to pay them on January 1st, $21,000. But we've only accrued for nine days. Therefore, we have to recognize that we have used their services for one day in this period. Let's do the entry. What did we get? Well, we got back our IOU because we no longer owe them the salaries payable of $18,900. What else did we get? Well, we got one additional day of services. We consumed them in this period. That's a salary expense. It's an expense because we've used or consumed their services in the current period. I don't know how much that is. I could calculate it, but there's an easier way of doing it. What did we give away? Well, we gave away cold hard cash, $21,000. The difference between the payable, which no longer exists, of $18,900 and the cash that we actually paid, $21,000, is the amount of services that we consumed for this current period, $2,100. That's the subsequent cash transaction. Let's quickly look at the balances from the current period. At the beginning of the period, salaries payable was sitting at $18,900 and salaries expense was sitting at zero. That's because the salary expense from December 31st would have been closed to retained earnings and the opening balance for salaries expense would be zero. Then we have to recognize the entry for the current period. Salaries payable disappears because we no longer owe the employees anything after we've paid them. We've paid the employees $21,000. 
and we have used the services of the employees in this current period for one day. Did we follow the flow chart for accrued expense adjusting entries? Absolutely, we did. The use of the employee was unrecorded at December 31st, so we recorded the salary's expense and the salary's payable. Then, in the new period, as time moved forward, the company paid their supplier, in this case, their employees. We removed the liability of the salaries payable, but we also had to recognize that a portion of the salaries was consumed in this current period. Therefore, we had a debit to the salaries payable, a debit to the salary expense, and a credit to cash for the full amount. We've still followed the accrual flowchart. Salary expense, adjusting entries.